Scorpios, what is going on with you in 2022? The first thing that I'm feeling for you is almost like you pulling in wealth, you pulling in money, you pulling in opportunity, you being more seen than what you previously had been. So this is like if you have social media accounts, if you're any kind of leadership, business ownership, speaking, communicating, even for those of you that are like at school, you may be having more speaking opportunities to be seen by like professors and things like this. It's almost like you're pulling these opportunities in toward you, but I'm under the impression that once you get some of them, you may be looking more toward the third and the fourth month of the year and reevaluating whether you really want them anymore. And so this could be a cycle, bit of a system where you say, okay, I have this, you know, now I got what I wanted and how can I tweak this now to make it even more accurate for what is within my life purpose, my life contract. It's all about you feeling fulfilled this year. It's also about you being heard properly. I see you working on your communication skills and this is where we're getting more on like an intimate level with others. This is the fourth month all the way through the seventh, possibly even into the eighth month. Seems like you're working on how you communicate with other people that are important to you and how you share, how you allow almost like active listening for whatever it is that they're sharing or saying to you to be received in a productive way. You're trying to make sure that the time that you spend with other people people is actually getting the relationship somewhere to higher ground, helping it to expand. You're letting go of some practices, old habits that don't work for you. Some of this has to do with ego and control. And some of it has to do with just understanding that some relationships aren't meant to be there forever, but they still have tremendous value for whatever they were. You seem to be offered again, I'm going into the sixth month, the seventh month, possibly for some of you, even the first two weeks of the eighth month, an opportunity. And this is coming less from you reaching and more from it just being given. You seem to be given an opportunity to make some pretty incredible change to your life. So whether we're talking about a relocation location, a brand new career, a brand new job of some kind. Some of you may also be looking at merging with a lover at that time. So we could be looking at engagement, marriage, things like this. I see you wanting to take it, but also having to get out of your comfort zone to do it. And then more toward the end of the year, I see you feeling very empowered. You feel very much like you have figured out some new tricks in being heard and communicating more properly. And you seem to have a really positive outlook for the upcoming year, meaning to that you're able to accurately evaluate where your prosperity is going. You can make accurate predictions. Now it's not like, I hope this works out. I hope that works out. It's like, I know it will because it already is. And this is the trajectory of that. So I feel good about that. So Scorpio is one of the signs that has been feeling the Saturn Uranus square. So they have really been shaken in the home and in their relationships. With the North Node moving into the relationship area, I do feel like committed partnership is on the table for some Scorpios. Maybe being so independent, so be letting some of that go and maybe merging with somebody else. And if this is not in marriage, it could be in business partnership as well. And the home thing, yeah, I think that there's a possibility of a new home dynamic for Scorpio this year. I feel like for some people, you gotta be careful if you don't want kids because Jupiter is gonna be in the fifth house. So you just have to be careful. If you want kids, that's great. This is good for having babies. If not, then take precautions. And Jupiter will move into the sixth for part of the year from May to October and then again in 2023. So I feel like the work area is going to be more blessed where there'll be like more prosperity there, you know, a better job. You might like the job better. It might pay better. Those things are on the forefront. I do feel Mars and Gemini retrograde in the eighth house. You, I do feel like you're finding your voice, especially in where you share intimacy or you share money with somebody or maybe shadow work where you, you need to say something that hasn't been said. You're kind of thinking about how you're going to take action on that. You know, Mars is your ruler. So when Mars goes retrograde, you become very strategic. And that's October to January, 2023, kind of a long time. And you're learning the best way to deal with your mental stuff 
and how to deal with others so that you have more empowerment. Like Ivy said, finding your voice, that's going to be really important.